ladies and gentlemen, um, as it's becoming all too customary at these events, uh, it's left to me to follow uh, the uh, <laughs> main political act. So I will keep this brief, and I know that there are both people in the audience with uh, empty glasses and those that haven't yet uh, to get their glasses. So um, let me just say um, that as someone who is currently planning a wedding and madly uh, trying to write a groom speech, I need to do the two most important things of this evening, to both do the thank yous and to organise the cutting of the cake. Um, so let's begin with the thank yous. I must first start by saying thank you so much to Philip Mould for hosting us. If, if, if people haven't had a chance to go downstairs and see the lower galleries, um, I would strongly urge you to do so. There's some completely fascinating works of art and a very uh, beautiful uh, small bust of Winston Churchill done there. Um, uh, my second thank you has to be to our speakers this evening, Amber and Geoffrey. As you, uh, as Neil so uh, wonderfully put it, you are the Torval and Dean of uh, British <laughs> politics, a wonderful double act, and, uh, and I'm very grateful for not just your kind of uplifting and uh, powerful speeches tonight, but also your continuing support to Onward's mission to renew the centre-right for the next generation. Uh, I must also thank all of those people who've supported Onward in our first year. One of the best things about setting up a think tank, about running a think tank, is the people. The people that invest their faith, their time, their ideas, their energy, uh, and quite frankly their hard-earned money in supporting the development of new ideas uh, and new policy to sustain public life and to ensure that politics and policy are getting better over time and there are many of those people here tonight who I'd like to pay tribute to. There are a few people in particular that I'd like to pay tribute to. Neil has already done a little bit of this but um, Danny Finkelstein, uh, the chairman of our advisory board who is unable to be with us this evening um, and the advisory board that he has assembled um, including many of the bright lights uh, of future generations within the party is completely fantastic and if there are leadership contenders in the audience, and you are picking out fantasy cabinets, I would urge you to start with the onward advice. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, secondly, uh, Neil O'Brien, who um, more than anyone has given extraordinary intellectual energy, power, uh, depth, um, and, uh, and has really pushed me as well um, to uh, ensure that onward's output in the first year is everything that it, it has been and, and more. Um, and he is the brains behind many of onward's brightest ideas, so Neil in particular deserves a shout out. And then I must also pay tribute to uh, Martin Rose, uh, the uh, chairman of trustees of, of Onwards, and David Meller, who have both um, uh, supported us right from the hilt um, and have bluntly uh, ensured that Onward has gone from me in a laptop to a small renegade team in a upstairs attic on Tufton Street, uh, trying to uh, trying to ensure the future of the centre right. So thank you to all of you, and thank you to everyone else who supported us financially, intellectually, um, and in terms of uh, political and media support as well. Um, so we've done a lot, but that was the easy bit. Last year was, it was the trial run, and if anyone is looking ahead to the next 12 months, you will see uh, a grand national of a leadership race coming up uh, pretty quickly, potentially. You'll see, uh, as Neil said, hopefully, fingers crossed, the conclusion of the Brexit process in a day when we can focus on social and economic policy. Um, and you'll also see the potential looming threat of a general election on the horizon, and it feels to me that our work, um, whether it's the upcoming work we've got coming on skills and uh, supporting low skills people in the economy, whether it's helping prisoners get jobs when they leave prison, which is the subject of a report we've got coming out next month, whether it's helping the economy fire on all cylinders uh, as we leave the European Union, that work is more important than ever to ensure that we have ideas to sustain us in future. Um, that is what we will be doing, and if you like what we've been doing for the past year, I hope you will support us in the next year, because we can't do it without you, we can't do it with your support, your ideas, uh, and your energy. Um, as Neil says, we have this fantastic Young People's Network. Um, if any of you know anyone under the age of 35 who wants to get involved in a thrusting young think tank, um, please send them to ukonward.com and sign up yourselves even if you're not under the age of 35. Uh, we welcome all comers. Um, but, uh, 
if I could just say thank you very much for being here. Thank you everyone for supporting us um, and thank you everyone for being involved in what I'm very proud to say has been a successful first year. <laughs> We do believe in having our cake and eating it. Um, if I could ask uh, the Attorney General and the Secretary of State for Work and Pensions to come and blow out the candle. Right. On the first